Hello everyone, how are you? This is Kay. Great to see you again. So I hope you are having a great Friday today. Happy Friday. And today on this video, I would like to explain my trades in the month of January. Since this is now February 2nd today, I will be doing the uh, monthly performance review video. So in the month of January, we had some nice big trends, but towards the end of January, the, the market started to range. And even today, yesterday and today, the market seems to be range. So um, it's been quite challenging, I'm sure, for everyone to be able to trade, to be able to capture trends and trades. So uh, hopefully by watching this video uh, and also by reviewing my performance, you will have an idea of how I make profits in the month of January. So let me first switch the screen. And I have two announcements. One is that the GTS Global Trading School in the month of April 2024 is now open. This is a three month trading course where you can learn my strategy fully, entry, exit, risk management, psychology management, and also spreadsheet for my hands-on training for three months. So if you're interested, please let me know by email and I can give you more details. And second is about the KTS Academy and GTS graduates. Uh, I am finalizing the book of money management. And there are so many strategies, books out there, but very few books talk about money management, importance of the money management. And I do value management, money management. And in my strategy also, I inc incorporate the strategies of money management a lot. So that's why I decided to write a book so that um, it educates people about the importance of the money management and how you can do it. Then if you study my strategy, then it makes much more sense, I'm sure. So this book is about to be done. And after this book is done, I will be introducing KTS indicator in this community, which is through TradingView, you get the indicators and without screening charts, you know which market is trending right now and you, you, you even get the entry confirmations. So I will be introducing this one next. And after this, I will be introducing advanced price action videos and also book in this community. And also Ichimoku original book review is happening right now. So there are so many things going on in this academy. So you can feel free to uh, check the below description also to get more details. Okay, so today again, I will be reviewing my trade performance in the month of January. So let me first switch screen to Discord because again here also, this is KTS Academy Discord and this is where I post all my trades and my performance. So first, let me share my performance in the month of January. Hold on, let me open Excel spreadsheet. This spreadsheet is also available um, among the KTS Academy members. So, and I do track all my trades in the spreadsheet so that I can look back and review my trades. So in the month of January, I got the win rate of 33.33%, but I don't really look so much about the win rate. Usually my win rate is about around 30% to 40%, and it's totally fine with me. So this area was just normal, and I don't look at how much I make, how much I lose. I only look at the ratios. So the most important number for me is the profit factor, PF. So PF was 3.81%. And PF is calculated by gross profit divided by the gross loss. So total profit I made divided by total profit, total loss I had in the month of January. The ratio between profit and loss in terms of, in terms of money is the PF. 
So my PF is 3.81%, which is good because my goal on the PF on the live trace is above three every month. So if I have the PF three or above, then I will never lose. No matter how much the win rate is lower, I don't lose, most likely. So PF 3.81 was pretty much, uh, I'm really much happy about this result. And my return was 8%. So in the month of January, there are not much trends, but I was able to generate 8%, so I'm happy too. But let me show you how I made that profits. And that was by one of the big trends, big trades, which was done on the 10th of January. I took EuroJPY buy and I got, so every time I enter trades, you may already know I take two positions, two stop losses. And one of the positions I took 120 pips of profit and second position I took 108 pips of profit. So that actually raised my PF much higher. And another trade, another profit I made was uh, Swiss franc JPY. On the 4th of January, I took uh, 43 pips of profit and 25 pips of profit. The rest of the market, the rest of the trades were either break even or losses. So basically, uh, Euro JPY trade was great, and that's why that's how I made the nice profit and the return of eight percent. So now let me explain how I took the trade on Euro JPY. I have the screenshots of my entry and exit, so I will show it to you. And then also today I will show you how I exit with a loss on one of these trades. So I will introduce Euro AUD because I got the loss of. 13 pips times 2. So let me introduce how I got the loss also. So that you learn both how I took profit and how I made a loss. So I value the risk and the reward ratio and I'm a trend follower. So every time I enter trades, I'm, trend, I, I'm um, confirming the trends in higher time frames. And I confirm trends by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So first, let me introduce how I took the profit on Euro JPY. And uh, it was um, over here on the 10th. If you have watched markets and took some trades on the 10th of January, you may remember that there were so many other JPY pairs trending at the same time. Not only Euro JPY, but also Pound JPY was trending up and some other JPY pairs as well. So I. I took the Euro JPY trade to trade because uh, the strings was really nice and also um, I got what I call entry confirmations. So just because I, the market is bullish, I don't enter trades. Every time I enter trades, I look for what I called entry confirmations. So I look for not only one entry confirmation, not only two entry confirmations, but I look for three entry confirmations. So entry confirmations are like entry reasons to trade. If there is no reasons, then I don't enter trades. So again, just because the market is bullish, I don't enter trades. If there is no confirmations, if there is no reasons to enter trades. So here, this is a screenshot of my entry and exit, but um, what I call my entry confirmations at this time were bun walking and stochastic gold cross and inside a breakout and Tokyo box breakout. So I got these four confirmations, four entry confirmations to buy. So bun walking is when the price is between the deviations one, two. So if I just zoom in, hold on, let me open it bigger because we may be accessing from mobile. So let me zoom in so that you can see the bigger picture, clear picture. So this is when I entered my trade. Um, or here, this was when I entered trade buy. And he, down here was my stop loss. So every time I enter trades, I put stop loss. And like I mentioned earlier, I take two buys 
and two stop losses. So what I call entry confirmations are, so first I mentioned that I took band walk and band walking is when I use Bollinger Bands for my entry as one of the indicators. And when the price is in between deviations one and two, that's what I call the band walking so that the momentum is here to go bullish. And it's like, uh, you know, you are on the stream flow, you're on the flow of the market when it's band walking on the five minute time frame. This is five minute time frame when I enter trades. But uh, if higher time frames bullish and also what I call the middle time frames is bullish too, then the five minute time frame also should go bullish. But sometimes it's retracing like here or it's ranging like here and I may not find any entry reasons, then I don't. But here when I open charts, I happen to find band walking. So the, the market was on the stream of uptrend together with the higher time frames. So that was one of my entry confirmations so that the probability for the market to go my direction becomes higher. But again, you know, anything can be fake. This band walking can be fake. So I look for two or more other reasons to enter trades. And the second reason I enter trade was um, this uh, stochastic gold cross. So here is a stochastic and uh, I use stochastic gold cross as the second entry confirmation. And the third I took was the inside bar breakout. So here was an inside bar and it broke bullish. So that was an inside bar breakout. And I think I mentioned the Tokyo box breakout, but that was a mistake. This Tokyo box breakout was a mistake. Sorry about the confusion. Because this is still um, within the Tokyo session. So still within the Tokyo session. So it wasn't the Tokyo box, but uh, I got the three confirmations anyways. So I took the entry here, buy. So here is a buy and this was my stop loss. I took the stop loss of 39 pips, as you can see. And I monitor chart, usually I monitor chart until I set what I called the break even line. Break even line means I move the stop losses above my entry. So I move the stop losses manually, drag and drop. Manually move the stop losses above my entry. So after I set break even, even if the market retrace, then I don't lose. This is break even. I exit zero profit break even, right? So for me, until I set break even is a goal, is a game I'm playing. Because after I set break even, the game will be either break even or win. So, but before I set break even, I may lose still. So I monitor closely. And after I set break even, I walk away for the, for the next couple of hours. Three, four hours, I walk away and come back and see what's happening in the market. So this was exactly when I enter trade and this was when I set the, what I called break even. I moved the stop losses above my positions like this. Then I simply left the chart. Next timing when I came back to chart was, I think it was all the way up here. Around this area, the market went up continuously. So I trailed the profits. One of my positions, again, I have two stop losses. So one of the stop losses was still break even and second stop loss, I trail profit. Then I came back the chart around this area over here. And this was before I go to bed. This was towards the late at night for me. So before I go to bed, I checked the chart, just a glance, and then I saw the new N wave. Range breakout, a new N wave, and this previous resistances became support. So I thought it's bullish is continuous. So there's no reason for me to exit. Even if I, I'm running more than 100 pips, 
no reason to exit yet. I don't set TP. I never set TP, but instead I follow the trends as long as it goes. This is what I, this is what uh, Goichi Hosoda mentions as surrender to the market. As long as trend continues, I follow. And whenever the trend stops, I exit. So I go with the flow and I don't set TP. In this way, one of these big trades can happen for me. So again, when I see the new N wave, before I go to bed, I move two stop losses. One of the stop losses move to here, stop loss one. And second stop loss, I moved it to here, below this W bottom. Then went to bed. Then while I, I was sleeping, these two stop losses hit, and that's how I took these two profits. So one of the profits was 120 pips, and second profit was 108 pips. And that's how I exited, that's how I took profit on these two trays, like, a show, like, a, like you can see on the spreadsheet. Right. So that was how I took the you know, big profits on, in the month of January. So in total, this was 128, 129, almost 130 pips of, uh, sorry, almost 230 pips, you know, in, in one trade. So that was really a nice trade of mine. But this is what I expect every month to happen. But whenever I enter trades, I never know if my entry will be profit or not. But rather, I more think about the market goes against my direction and um, I prepare psychologically to exit with small losses. But by keep planting the seeds, you know, out of 10, one or two or three sprouts like this and this covers the previous all small losses is my strategy. So every time I enter trades, first of all, I am in the trending markets. And also, I am confirming three confirmations, three reasons for my entries. But even so, I lose. But in this way, you know, some of these big trades can happen and covers, they cover my previous losses. Because loss, lo, the losses are very small for me, and that's why my win rate is really low. You may wonder why my win rate is so low, 33.33%. And one of the reasons is because I exit very early timing. I never exit on the stop loss. I do put the stop loss, but stop loss is like my seat belt on the highway. In case anything happens in the market in the next few minutes, you know, we never know. Some surprise may happen among the markets anytime. Even if there's no big news ahead, some surprise may happen in the next minute and the market may shoot down. In that case, the worst case scenario is the stop loss hit and I take 2% of my account on my stop losses. So worst case scenario is 2% drawdown at the stop loss. But usually or almost all the cases, I exit before the price hit the stop loss. So I never lose 2%. But because of this, I have more losses. So if you only look at the losses numbers, I have like six losses and two break-evens. So that, that was really you know, higher than wins, winners. And that's because I exit with the small drawdowns very quickly. So I have more losses than wins in this reason. So let me now show you how I exited my trade with small loss on Euro AUD trade. In this way, you will have an idea of how you can exit small, you know, if the market goes, if the market doesn't go your direction. So uh, let me open Discord again, and it was on Euro AUD trade. So in this trade, hold on, let me open bigger also. So this is, hold on. Okay, so this is when I, where I enter the trade, I enter trade buy, 
and this was my stop loss. My stop loss was uh, 26 pips below in this particular trade. And again, this is the five minute time frame. You can see five on watermark, it's a five minute time frame. So, um, and I took the entry here, and then um, again, I was waiting for the, hold on, in this case it was, so the market went up and down, it was actually, it didn't break the resistances, it just went down and broke the support, right, right. So yeah, again, every time I enter trades, I look for reasons to trade. So again, here was my buy. This was where I put the stop loss. And um, I was trusting this support level basically to bounce. Again, it was bullish in higher time frames as per Ichimoku. So when I enter trade here, buy, then I do expect that the market goes any wave like this. If it doesn't, I exit. And it didn't. So the market went down on the reverse in the wave. Then I exited my trade. Well, there are some technical invalidations in here, but basically that's the basic idea of mine. Every time I enter trades, I expect the market goes towards my direction on the end waves. If not, then I exit my trade. So since my stop loss is down here, I exited on the blue line over here, and this was halfway to stop loss, right? So this is how I exit before, I, before the price hit the stop loss. So my drawdowns kept small in this way. And it's reasonable to exit, right? Uh, although higher time frames bullish, you know the new trends start from the lower time frames. So if this becomes reversing the wave, then this reversing the wave may continue. In fact, in this trade, it did go down continuously and it didn't go up afterwards. So I can see that there was a hint of the market trend reverse, reverse and that's why I exited my trade. So this is how I exit with the small losses. Okay, so that was how I got the loss of 13 pips times two. Again, I take two entries, two stop losses. So I got uh, 13 pips of loss times two in this way. So again, this is how I enter exit my trades. And in KTS Academy, I share all my trades, explanations, entry exits, and uh, in details, in more details, and also some of my review on my monthly performance as well. So if you want to master and learn my strategy, then uh, feel free to join KTS Academy right now. It's many things happening right now, and many things will coming up. So feel free to join. Or if you have any questions, please let me know by email. But uh, yeah, overall impression is uh, that the trends happened in early mid January, but not towards the end. Especially for the last two weeks of January, I didn't really see any trends. And I, do, I did see some trends, but um, it didn't go uh, towards the you know, major direction afterwards. So, and I knew that it didn't go, so I didn't take any entries towards the late January. The last trade I took was on the 18th, on the 18th of January on CADC's rank, and after that I didn't take any entries because the market becomes very spiky and very choppy. There is a way to identify whether you enter trades or not. Sometimes you know you have some nice trends, by Ichimoku, if you have been follow, follow me for a while, then you know the market trends and Ichimoku showing bullish bearish. But uh, even so, I don't enter trades sometimes. Um, yeah, so I didn't take any entries, although I saw some trends towards the end of January. And also, like I mentioned, lots of JPY pairs were trending on the 10th of January. So I think uh, you may be able to capture some nice pips 
on the 10th of January, if you follow my strategy, on one of the JPY pairs. And one minute extra confirmation worked really well. So this is how I, one of the ways uh, how I select uh, whether I enter trades or not. So I do look at one minute time frame as well. Or I, before I didn't, but since last year, I also started to look at one minute just to get extra confirmations to buy or sell. I don't enter trades based on one minute confirmation, but this is more like for the reference for myself to, or extra push, uh, to whether I enter trades or not. And if one minute is not in my favor, then I don't enter trades. And it happened towards the end of January. And that's how I didn't enter trades. If I entered these trades towards the end of January without one minute extra confirmation, then I may end up with more losses. So yeah, that really helped a lot for me, and that's what I mentioned here. Um, yeah, so overall, I think in the month of January was overall very tricky. If I didn't, if I did not have the profit on Euro JPY, then of course my profit or my return was much, much less. But I know that, uh, you know, one of these big trends will happen every month. Um, so that's what I'm waiting for. And that's how I, that's uh, what I expect to take on my entries. But again, at the same time, I never know if my next trade is going to happen in a big profit or not. I never know. And I don't expect my entries, my next entry is going to make me profits. Oh, but rather, I more think about the losing side. And I more think about how not to lose big. So I am, this is kind of a mixture of the psychology. So every time I enter trades, I'm on the trending followers, trend follow by Ichimoku. And I get three reasons, three confirmations for entries and one minute extra confirmation even. And also, as you may know, I use the currency strings chart to check the strings of the currency that I'm about to trade and I use I, I check other tools. But um, even so, when I when I enter trades, I always think about the risk side. I don't think about the profit side usually. That's my psychology behind. And if the market goes against me, I can exit properly without any or less emotion. And if the market goes towards my direction, I set break even, I manually move the stop losses to break even, and then simply walk away for the next couple of hours, and that's how I make profits usually. So this balance between trend follow mindset and losing with the small losses is really important. If you only focus on the profit side, then it may not work well. I mean, if you have some losses, drawdowns, multiple drawdowns, then you may be frustrated. Uh, or if you only think about the drawdown side and not too much think about the profit side or not, th not think, too, uh, think too much about the trend follow side, then you may be trading in the range market or you may be trading in the wrong timings when the market choppy or something. So yeah, you have to have a good balance between the trend follow mindset and also losing side, uh, drawdown scenarios. So that, um, yeah, and you constantly take entries and exit by the rules, then you should be fine. So yeah, that's how I got my performance and that's how I got the return of 8% in the month of January. So it looks like so far in the month of February, uh, still the markets are quiet, but uh, let's see. We have to check charts every day, no matter how, how quiet the market seems like, we have to check charts every day because we never know when the next trends happen. So without formal, just check charts whenever you can per day, but don't check too often. Check charts in two to three hours interval, if possible, or whenever you can after work, 
Whenever you have spare time, you can check charts. And when the trends happen to happen, then you enter trades. I mean, you look for the scenario, you create scenario and enter trades. But if not, then walk away and come back a few hours later again to see if you can capture some trends or not. And basically that's what I do in my routine. And, uh, but this is easy to say, but difficult to do. And that's why we need practice. And that's why I'm here to share my ideas on my trading strategies and trading psychologies behind. So I hope you liked today's video. If you liked it, please place the like button before you leave. And um, I hope to see you in the next one. So tomorrow, on Saturday, I will be doing the uh, psychology topic. And like I mentioned before, um, hold on, let me refresh. I created a poll, I mean vote. So let me share again. So here, if you come to my YouTube community post, uh, oops, here, sorry. If you come to my community post here, I put the question, you are thinking to create a bookmark by a leaf. Which color leaf would you choose? Red, yellow, green. And this is about how to learn from your own mistakes. And this is gonna be the topic tomorrow, live stream. So please vote if you haven't. If you have already voted, then uh, please join the live stream and uh, know the answer and know your own personality. How you, look at, how you can learn from your own mistakes on trades. Okay, so yeah, that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining everyone. Thank you for joining and thank you for watching this video and hope to see you again soon. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe and stay gold. Okay, bye for now. Matane, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you'd like to know more about my strategy, then I recommend you to join the KTS Academy membership, which is the monthly subscription. And unlike Global Trading School, there is no monthly follow-up, so weekly meetings, regular meetings in a small group, and we don't meet face-to-face -face in discussions, but instead there are more than 60 videos for only the members which covers not only how to select the best pair or entry or exit, but also um, risk management, which includes um, how to calculate the lot size and where exactly to put the stop loss and how to exit with the small losses and how to set break even and how to trial in two different positions and two, two different uh, stop losses. And also, I have lots of other videos about the psychology management and how I backtest my strategies one by one, and also um, my videos about my trace. And every time I enter trace, exit trace, I share screenshots with my comments on it so that uh, you can actually uh, learn based on my live trace also. And on top of that, um, there are three times of weekly membership only meetings and KTS Academy members and also GTS members will actually get together and uh, analyze charts, discuss markets three times per week, which also includes in KTS Academy membership. And there's much more to it. So if you want to know more details, then uh, please access below description and click the link KTS Academy and you can find out more details. And also now I have three communities, which are Global Trading School and this KTS Academy and also Ichimoku community. So if you don't know which one to join yet, then also please click on the below description and uh, click on the link where it says, take a survey. It only takes two minutes and you just uh, answer 10 questions to know which one suits you the best to join. So again, thank you very much for watching the video and I, until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, stay gold. Bye for now. Matane, thank you.